Hello and welcome to SBN, the Small Business Network, the only network to bring you news you can use to help stimulate small business startups, encourage inventors' efforts, and showcase franchises on offer. Like we've said before, if it's about supporting small business and the people reaching for the American dream of business ownership, you'll see it here on SBN. How we do it is by taking you through the paces of crowdfunding, where you can start investing on projects and products today for as little as $100. You set your own investment pace while we show you a review of what we've found for your consideration. It's just that simple, and no one gets you closer to the deals than SBN. Now you may have noticed we're out of the studio, producing our program as usual, though we're sticking to the government guidelines for staying safe during the COVID-19 pandemic. We hope you and your families are keeping safe by following the basic guidelines too. Stay home, avoid contact with others. If you must be around others, keep a social distance of at least six feet of separation. Wash your hands often using soap and warm water or approved hand sanitizers. Cough or sneeze into the crook of your arm. Contact your doctor or healthcare provider if you think you have been exposed to the virus or are having symptoms. The pandemic has been going on for more than eight weeks and it's projected to go on for a good while longer. While we want you to maintain your best health first and foremost, we didn't want you to miss the opportunity to be like a shark, investing in products and projects that appeal to your inner investor. So we'll get underway right after this brief message. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs. SBN, the Small Business Network, is a division of Privatel Incorporated and does not sell any of the instruments, goods, or services seen here, nor is it a portal to investment opportunities. Please consult with your financial and legal professionals before making any investment. This concept has been registered with the Writers Guild of America. Another quick reminder from all of us here at SBN. If you or someone you know has ALS, you can go to winningthefight.org for more help and for more information. Thank you. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm your host, Brian DeNovellis. First up today in our crowdfunding campaigns is Hitch Hotel Incorporated. The product they're presenting for your consideration is the Hitch Hotel. They say it's an expandable traveling hotel, conveniently secured to the back of a vehicle. It attaches easily to any vehicle with a trailer receiver or trailer ball. The Hitch Hotel is over seven feet of sleeping room when expanded. The Hitch Hotel is for the frequent traveler and the weekend adventurer. Hitch Hotel makes hitting the road a breeze. How simple and easy is it? Well, let's find out together as we take a closer look at the campaign pitch video for Hitch Hotel. Introducing the Hitch Hotel Traveler, the next level in adventure simplicity. The Traveler is considered one of the most compact trailers in the marketplace today. Not only can you carry more stuff, but when you're done, simply back into your garage, carport, or parking space and release, roll, retract. The Hitch Hotel Traveler. Your room is ready. The minimum investment in Hitch Hotel is $235. If you've been waiting for the next best chance to own the road and everywhere it leads, you may want to do so by investing in Hitch Hotel. If you have any questions about making an investment in Hitch Hotel, the Small Business Network can help. Just drop us a line here, info at sbncrowd.com. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including SBN's tax impact expert, 
Richard Lipton of Lipton CPA Associates. Let Rich show you what he means when he says Lipton CPA Associates answers questions you didn't know you needed to ask. And if you have a big idea, an invention or innovation you'd like to test out in the marketplace, let us know. Because as we like to remind you, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including product development, crowdfunding, and franchising. For more information, contact us here. Info at connectsbn.com. We're back with much more after this short break. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. Another quick reminder from all of us here at SBN. If you or someone you know has ALS, you can go to winningthefight.org for more help and for more information. Thank you. Hi there, I'm Robin Mead. You are not alone if you're feeling like there's so much uncertainty to face right now. And while you're told to stay physically distant from people, it is more important than ever to stay close at heart by reaching out, sending a text, picking up the phone. You can also reach out to NAMI, the nation's largest grassroots mental health organization, because with all that's going on, it's more important than ever to care for each other. You know we get a kick out of the way people market their businesses, whether for a franchise or a funding campaign. Here's a franchise on offer with a tagline that really caught our attention. When Glass Doctor says, we fix your breaks and pains, they mean it. Established in 1962, Glass Doctor has a solid reputation for transparency in glass repair and replacement of all kinds, for your car, for your home, and for your business. Let's have a look at highlights from the franchise pitch video for Glass Doctor. I would say that Glass Doctor Charlotte is very much a family environment. Uh, one of the best cases of that recently is we had an employee struggle with cancer. We did lose him a year and a half ago, and he's greatly missed. But the employees got together and helped him every step of the way to the very end. Yeah, they really, they really stepped up and, and uh, yeah, stood by. So. We really do kind of mesh well. Our whole team here has that that love for one another where we really are truly like a family. It's close-knit, and the support for one another is, is truly contagious. I, th I think we have become who we are today uh, as a successful company because of, of the people that we have working for us. I mean, there's no way that you can do what we do if people aren't working hard. Uh, we offer emergency service and these guys are getting up in the middle of the night and going out. And just their willingness to buy into what we're doing and believing that this is really something bigger than ourselves is really special. We've had ups and downs throughout the, the career of our business. You know, 2008, 2009, we came close to thinking we had to shut the doors. It was the first year we weren't able to give a Christmas bonus. And, you know, we understood that they wanted to, to leave and, um, and they stayed and done well and helped us to recover and to, to grow back the business where we are today. When Glassdotter Charlotte received the Franchisee of the Year in 2009, we were both just blown away by that. To be able to bring this home is, is really special and to get it you know, two times doesn't happen hardly ever. So to be able to be a part of it this time is, is truly special and, and it's, uh, it means a lot to everybody involved, our whole team. I look around at, at, at how God has blessed us and um, He's given us a great family and um, given us a great group of people to work with and, um, and we, we've been able to be successful. Now here are some of the typical expenses of becoming a Glass Doctor franchisee. Total investment ranges from $127,300 to $265,500. Ongoing fees include an initial franchise fee of $35,000, a royalty fee from 5% to 7%, and an advertising royalty of 2%. There's much more to know about becoming a Glass Doctor franchisee. The Small Business Network can help. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including SBN's tax impact expert, 
Richard Lipton of Lipton CPA Associates. Let Rich show you what he means when he says, Lipton CPA Associates answers questions you didn't know you needed to ask. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. For more information, contact us here. Info at sbnfranchise.com. Now please keep it tuned to SBN, the small business network. We'll be back after this word from our sponsors. Hi there, I'm Robin Mead. You are not alone if you're feeling like there's so much uncertainty to face right now. And while you're told to stay physically distant from people, it is more important than ever to stay close at heart by reaching out, sending a text, picking up the phone. You can also reach out to NAMI, the nation's largest grassroots mental health organization, because with all that's going on, it's more important than ever to care for each other. Another quick reminder from all of us here at SBN. If you or someone you know has ALS, you can go to winningthefight.org for more help and for more information. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. This is SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm your host, Brian DeNovellis. Weather can be so unpredictable, and who knows exactly how best to prepare? For example, you wouldn't want to be playing with blocks in the midst of a torrential downpour that caused flooding. Or would you? Take it from me. You don't want to scoff at Mother Nature. I've seen the ravages of storms along coastlines and from rivers that turn to rage. The good people behind locking line barriers have created water blocks, rapid deployment protection from flooding conditions. How they work, how perhaps they'll help save lives and property is outlined in this crowdfunding campaign presentation for water blocks. Let's take a look. We have the technology to forecast storms seven to 14 days in advance. Within that 10 to 14 day time frame, we don't have the technology to respond to mitigate the damage that's caused by these storms. Until now. My name's Joe Denelock. I'm president of the Lockheed Line Barrier Corporation. Allow me to introduce you to a brand new technology, rapid deployable flood control barrier system that we've trademarked under the name of Water Blocks. It's a four foot cube that when divided in half in a very unique fashion, it becomes two separate pieces when put together for flood protection, creates a four foot wall, eight foot wide and four foot tall. It's rapidly deployable. It's easily handled. There is no other product in the market that does exactly that. The current tools that are used by municipalities across the country and around the world consist of sandbag walls, Jersey barriers, and then anything else that might be handy. We decided to commission a market survey. The demand for our product is so large, just in this country alone, there is not enough manufacturing facilities in existence to make enough barriers to meet the entirety of the demand. Take, for example, a hospital that sits on a quarter acre square that needs flood control protection to create an island of safety for the building. That's one mile of barriers that's needed and we need 10 truckloads, which costs $1.5 million. That $1.5 million investment can be reused for at least the next 20 years to protect that $1.5 billion hospital complex. If we did that for just one hospital, what we would need to do for the entire county and then think about hurricanes have impacted our coastlines all around our country. The demand exists without question for our product. We're ready to go to market with the solution to the problem. But what we need is your help. Join with us on our investor team so that we can go out and help save communities, lives, property, and our environment. Minimum investment in water blocks is $200. They might be onto something there that's worth considering. If not for your personal investment, then maybe for your town's rapid deployment. To learn more about water blocks from locking line barriers, drop us a line here. 
info at sbncrowd.com. We're glad to show you ways to make your investments count by connecting you to business and legal advisors, including our own crowdfunding guru, Mark Roderick. Financing is also available. Please let us show you how. Stay with us. We're back in a moment with the next investment consideration. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network, and we thank you. Here are the top 10 things you can do if you think you might have coronavirus or COVID-19. One, stay home. Two, monitor your symptoms carefully. If they worsen, call your healthcare provider. Three, rest and stay hydrated. Four, if you have a medical appointment, call ahead and let them know you may have COVID-19. Five, if your symptoms are severe, call 911. Six, cover your cough and sneezes. Seven, wash your hands often. Eight, use a separate bathroom. Nine, avoid sharing personal items. And 10, clean all surfaces that are touched often. For more information on COVID-19, visit cdc.gov slash COVID-19. Another quick reminder from all of us here at SBN. If you or someone you know has ALS, you can go to winningthefight.org for more help and for more information. Thank you. Welcome back to SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm Brian DiNovellis. Now here's a quick round robin of crowdfunding campaigns. Deals you may want to consider one more time before they're long gone. Here's your SBN last chance investment roll call. R3 Printing has been rated by King's Crowd as the top deal to those who see the future in 3D. Targeting the $16 billion 3D printing industry, you could join the 1,800 plus investors who already have a stake in R3 Printing. R3's vision planning suggests the 3D printing market will exceed $24 billion by 2022 and $36 billion by 2024. They aspire to be the leading edge in what's shaping up as a crowded marketplace. The things in our lives, the things we wear, touch, and hold, when we call them ours, is it because they're unique, personal, are they one in a million? Or are they just one out of millions? Minimum investment in R3 printing is $100. Thalia Capos is a premium guitar accessories and lifestyle brand with a loyal customer base, successful business model, and impressive portfolio of innovative patented accessories. They say Thalia Capos has generated $6 million in sales to date, and their picks have garnered over $1 million. They're expanding now into adjacent accessory categories one by one as they continue to grow. My name is Chris Bradley, and I'm the chairman and CEO of Thalia Brands. Thalia is a premium guitar accessories and lifestyle brand with over 100,000 loyal direct customers, a successful D2C business model, and an impressive portfolio of patented guitar accessories. To date, we have generated $7.8 million in sales and are poised for rapid growth. Our story began eight years ago when my daughter Thalia had a big idea for a new guitar capo that was inlaid with exotic wood and shell. As soon as I heard her idea, I knew it was a winner. But as a guitar player and a designer, I knew that we had to fix the functional issues that made capos so painful for guitar players to use. We went on to create the Thalia Capo, which has been awarded three US patents. We launched it on Kickstarter in 2014, and today our company, Thalia Brands, is a diversified and thriving guitar accessories business. We build capos that keep guitars in tune, are easy to use, and are aesthetic works of art. We manufacture the world's thinnest durable wood guitar pick, which has amazing tone, flexibility, and design variation. We're expanding into other guitar accessory categories, continuing to solve problems and improve design everywhere we can. Our vision is to become the most successful guitar accessories and lifestyle brand in the world, and to deliver massive value to our shareholders. We will do this by continuously innovating and launching into profitable product categories as we scale. 
Our core team has worked together, developing innovative new products for successful companies for nearly 20 years. We are inviting you to invest in our company and share in our future success. We have a unique vision and a lineup of amazing products ready for launch. Let's do this together and change the guitar industry forever. Minimum investment in Thalia is $150. Now there's still a lot of buzz about San Melek's laboratories utilizing the healing power of honey. San Melek's labs is solving problems once treated with strong chemicals that too often brought mixed results. Over 50 million people are affected by acute and chronic, hard to close wounds. What if we could provide a solution to treat these types of wounds without the dangerous side effects of synthetic drugs? It's no secret honeybees and the honey they produce have a very long history in medicine. And that's why San Malik's Laboratories is introducing you to our Buckwheat Honey Bioactive Wound Care Solution. My life has been dedicated to caring for patients suffering from diabetic foot ulcers and hard to close wounds. From my residency at Harvard to my 30 years experience in podiatry, I've been searching for a natural treatment to help heal these patients. At San Malik's, we finally found a way to combine nature and science to create our patent pending wound dressing and skin care solutions. We truly believe that Buckwheat Honey is nature's preferred healing remedy. It's full of antioxidants which help with skin regeneration, and it's an antibacterial. You could not ask for better ingredients to heal wounds and soothe the minor burns caused by radiation therapy. We've seen firsthand the need for these products we've been creating. We know our Be Cure dressings are going to be a big step forward in changing the lives of many. We decided to launch an equity crowdfunding campaign to allow the public to help us heal others. We're raising the funds to test our radiodermatitis product. And we're very excited that the Air Force will be testing our advanced wound care dressings. We hope you'll join us. Minimum investment in San Melix Laboratories is $249.60. Like I said before, the crowdfunding deals you've seen in our last chance roll call are going fast, but we can help you with any additional questions. Remember, financing is available on most crowdfunding and franchising efforts. Let us show you how. We'd be remiss if we didn't also offer a hearty congratulations to some other successful campaigns that got the funding they needed. For some of the investors, you've done well, but for others, too late. Here are a few of the deals that got away. We Strive, the physical fitness trainer in your pocket app, finished its raise in healthy shape. For now, we're raising funding to truly grow the platform we currently have. I can confidently take any personal trainer through our demo and they'll be mind blown by not only the features that we offer, but just the ease of use. Our trainers are so used to how complicated systems are in our field that almost every single demo I give at the end of the call, they say, well, if I had known it was that easy, I wouldn't have scheduled a demo, and then they sign up. So, um, you know, we're just excited. It's been a long journey, and we're looking for funding to just have a quick acceleration of growth, put more money behind our development process, put some money behind marketing, and ultimately bring We Strive to the forefront of the personal training industry. We're happy to answer any of your questions. Again, I'm Corey McCain, and thank you for your time. Total funds raised more than $54,000. Elliptigo, the world's leading elliptical cycling brand, reached its fundraising finish line with nearly $1 million. And last but never not least, Liquid Piston Incorporated raised nearly $1.5 million, disrupting a 150-year-old industry by thinking outside the cylinder.
company redesigned the traditional internal combustion engine and developed an innovative, efficient alternative. In other words, investors were presented a scalable solution to address the $400 billion internal combustion engine market. This design breakthrough may be a key enabler for emerging mobility technologies, including electric cars, urban aircraft, and drones. So there you have it. Maybe the ones that got away. Success stories from the annals of crowdfunding. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsor. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. The virus that causes coronavirus disease is spreading in some of our communities. This disease, also known as COVID-19, is thought to spread mainly from person to person, through respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes. Take steps to lower your risk of getting sick. Here are some things you should do. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Take extra measures to put distance between yourself and others. Stay home if you're sick, except to get medical care. If you have severe symptoms, please call 911. Cover coughs and sneezes with a tissue or the inside of your elbow. Only wear a face mask if you're sick and around other people, or if you need to take care of someone who is sick. Clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces. For more information on COVID-19, please visit cdc.gov COVID-19. Another quick reminder from all of us here at SBN. If you or someone you know has ALS, you can go to winningthefight.org for more help and for more information. Thank you. That's going to wrap things up for us today. We hope you saw something that played to your interest for small business investment, or at least something presented that brought you a laugh or a smile. We invite you to come back and watch again next time. And we thank you for making us part of your regular viewing habits. Until next time, good health, good heart, and good investments. Thank you from all of us here at SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs.